If you have any interest in space, you probably heard this news. A year ago, we thought we found uh, what we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. Just so we're clear, that was the head of NASA saying their rover found evidence of ancient alien Martian life. And this all comes back to this rock that has NASA saying, this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. This is Sapphire Canyon. That's the name of the 25th sample collected by NASA's Perseverance rover. And it has scientists pretty excited. What we're describing here is a potential biosignature. Potential biosignature? That is NASA speak for, oh my God, we might have found proof of life on Mars. Now, does that mean they're confirming the existence of alien life? Not quite yet. It might have a biological origin, but requires more data or further study before reaching a conclusion about the presence or absence of life. Again, this all starts with the Perseverance rover, Percy for short, which landed on Mars in 2021, right here in Vesero Crater. Since then, it's been trundling around, collecting samples and data, and of course, taking selfies. Now, in July 2024, Percy visited the mouth of an ancient river valley and discovered a very special rock. This is unique. It's unlike anything else that, that we have seen before here or anywhere else. That's Chris Hurd, a sample shepherd for the Perseverance mission. See, Percy only has 38 sample tubes, but Mars has a lot of rocks. So Hurd helps decide which ones make the cut. As soon as we saw the, the detailed images of the rock, we knew that we had to collect this sample. It's easy to see what he's talking about. Researchers have nicknamed these features leopard spots and poppy seeds, and they might look kind of familiar. Walking along the shore of Prince Edward Island, the rocks are really red there. And every now and then you come across this sort of uh, greenish gray spot inside the rock. Well, that's where an organism has died. This is something we see all over the earth, but never before on Mars. NASA scientists spent a year looking for reasons that this isn't a sign of life, trying to come up with other ways to explain it. But their tests found organic matter, meaning molecules that contain carbon, not necessarily biological matter, and two minerals that here on Earth are known to be created by or around life. And so far, the alternate explanations, heat, acidity, organic catalysts, they don't seem very likely. You kind of say, well, maybe it was this, you know, unique combination of, of things that produced that, this particular feature, these particular features, um, when in fact, maybe the simplest solution, and that's a big maybe, but you know, maybe the simplest thing is some kind of life providing the, the mechanism for the reaction to take place. So what's next? Will NASA ever come out and say, yes, for sure, there was life on Mars? The punchline of the paper is that you really need to get this back in order to, to say for certain whether this potential biosignature is an actual biosignature. See, here on Earth, we could run tests that Percy just can't. And if we find out in the end that it wasn't life after all, was the mission a failure? Well, no. If it's all done without life, that's kind of mind blowing to a planetary geologist like me. Now at the moment, no mission is planned to retrieve the samples and bring them back to Earth. So we won't know for at least a decade. But in the meantime, well, a big maybe is the closest we've ever gotten.